Apex Legends Season 15 it means a brand new map added to the game, and throughout the years we've battled it out on deserts, beaches, lava, ice, and now we're about to take the fight to the moon. But what are the best maps of all time? In this video, I'm going to rank my top 5 best Apex maps of all time, and let's get right into it. So starting out, just to be clear, a lot of people might think, hey Grizzy, we only have five Apex maps, Kings Canyon, World's Edge, Olympus, Storm Point, and then that upcoming season 15 moon map. But I'm gonna take each variation of the maps as a separate location or addition because season zero Kings Canyon and season 14 Kings Canyon, they play very different. Now coming in at number five, it might be pretty shocking to people, but I have the original Kings Canyon as the fifth best apex map of all time mainly you know a lot of that is nostalgia everyone loves you know the nostalgia with skull town thunderdome cascades and bridges but what a lot of people don't remember was how plain the map was outside of these major pois and there's lots of emptiness and just pure desert throughout the original king's canyon it didn't have the awesome additions that were later added in like you know octane's gauntlet labs or the cage in the middle of the map og casey brings back memories for sure but for this list i have it here ranked at number five ranking in at number four we have storm point <laughs> never mind who am i kidding no i'm not this map is garbage storm point spoiler alert this gigantic map it didn't make the list it didn't cut it anyway our actual fourth greatest map of all time is specifically olympus at night the fight or fright event was live for season 14 the entire month of october and honestly i've never seen such cool aesthetics for a map there's creepy green lightning in the sky red infected vines growing on towers Revenant has taken over the boxing ring. Olympus has always been a good overall map and a really popular map with a lot of the Apex community. You know, it has popular hot drops like Estates, Oasis, Energy Depot, and Gardens. The map got even better with the recent Lifeline Town takeover, which is pretty unique as well. And then throw in that amazing nighttime presence and you have an incredible map and experience to play on. If the event is still live while you're watching this video, go and play that game mode just to feel the aesthetics and just how awesome Olympus is at night. Now coming in as the third best Apex map of all time, we have Kings Canyon Season 4. Season 4 was the last season that we got to have actual Skull Town and Thunderdome. I enjoy Season 4 KC better than any other version because the gauntlet and the labs are added in, which are two of my favorite town takeover POIs. And then Slum Lakes was another pretty underrated cool area that we lost forever with later updates to KC. Now for KC season five, we did get Mirage Voyage, which is a really amazing place for action, but Salvage wasn't the same as Skulltown. Then later on, we also would see some pretty cool additions like Crypto's Map Room, Caustic Treatment, and Capacitor, but honestly, I would give all those POIs back for the season four version of KC, just so we could have the original Skull Town and Thunderdome still in the game. The second best Apex map has to be our current version of World's Edge. To me, World's Edge has always been the best overall map in Apex. Ranked feels good here, pubs are action packed and fragment, Competitive Apex is played to a high level here at World's Edge, and World's Edge really has it all. I love that you can go from fighting on snowy mountains on one side of the map to fighting around lava on the complete opposite side. It makes for a nice change of scenery and keeps the map feeling fresh. Our most recent version of World's Edge is incredible because we have the additions of Bloodhound's Gauntlet, Big Mod, and Climatizer as well. Both Bloodhound's Gauntlet and Big Mod are both very unique POIs on the map and both can really leave you geared up when you do land there and then finally leave those POIs. Now moving on to the top of the Apex Legends 
all-time map list, we have World's Edge Season 3. In more recent updates of World's Edge, we lost places like Sorting Factory, Fuel Depot, and the Train Yard. Especially to me, Sorting Factory, I thought that place was incredible for a POI and was probably my favorite place to land on the original map other than the construction site in Capital City. And then that brings me back to the most fun POI in the history of Apex, and that's the original capital city. Before it was cut in half to Fragment East and Fragment West, you thought Frag East and West were fun? Capital City took Hot Drop to a whole new level and was an absolute blast, especially at those two construction sites that were side by side. Not to mention, World's Edge Season 3 had some really cool color themes to it with those greens and blues and it just made the map feel new and fresh. Now Season 3 wasn't perfect, there were a couple of those annoying towers you know, that separate some of the POIs like the one right outside of Fuel Depot was such a pain when people would camp those towers and hold you out from the zone. But other than that, I absolutely loved the season three map of World's Edge. It was probably my favorite map of all time. And I think this season was probably my favorite Apex season of all time, largely due to the greatness of this map. So guys, what is your favorite Apex map of all time? Are you guys excited for the new map coming to season 15? I know I'm excited. I can't wait to see it, can't wait to play it. I'm going to continue to have tons of content on this channel and tons of new uploads for Apex Legends Season 15 coming here very shortly as well. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And guys, if you want to know the top ranked solo queue legends in Apex Legends, then be sure to check out this video next. All right, guys, have a great one and peace out.